What a beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Time to do work. And then also out here, what do we got? Turkey. Another turkey. Yep, they're out here. They got a bunch of poults. They're out here every morning, most of the day. Usually there's five hens and they got like 20 poults with them. They're up. We're up. Let's do work. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Peterson Outdoor Films. Got to get the gold juice in you. It has been a long, long work week for this guy. It's hot, it's humid, and it's going to be extremely hot and humid today. But today, it's food plot time. We got to get food plots in the ground. We got seed, fertilizer, lime to get in. We got to work these food plots up. We killed them previously is what we always do about a few weeks prior to planting. We go in and kill everything off completely. I mean, you walk in, it's like brown, just barren ground. So we want all the grasses, everything, the little succulents all dead and we're planting same thing that I, like i said i call them kill plots more or less not giant food plots we try to keep it so that the deer are within range especially during archery season in every single one of these food plots and uh, i believe uh, i'm going to do the same thing with chicory clover and brassica mix and the clover is actually three different types of clover in case one takes better than the other and I expect to see more of that probably come up next year a little bit better. These are fall food plots. And we've tried summer plots. It, it can be such a gamble. You don't know if it's going to rain. Last year was the biggest drought I've ever seen in my life. But central Wisconsin sand. So we got lime, lime, lime fertilizer. I'm running triple 10. Brother Jake, he said he wants to put down triple 18. It's kind of a personal preference. Uh, we found out they both work well. Jake switched it up this year. He's gonna do a little bit different seed actually. He's got uh, he's got some kale and kale and Ethiopian cabbage, rape, collard, and then uh, he's also got another blend that he's gonna try. I believe what we call the strip plot. He's gonna try the same stuff there, and then the front food plot's gonna be something different. I'm gonna keep the same where I can serve. I call it my stand, our stand, whatever, but. That stand has become one of our really good hot spots, and lately the camera's been rolling there with no food plot, and we got bucks. So, also the basin we're gonna haul up water today because we have found out. I mean, especially last year during the drought, water is one of the most crucial, important things. If you can, we took tanks and just buried them. It's all we did. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. We're gonna haul water up, fill our holding tank today as well. So that's there because then every time we go up, we'll make sure those tanks are topped up because especially during the rut, we found out those bucks, the first stop that they make is right to the water, not eating right away, but they'd usually stop the water or do, you know, clean up scrapes, make rubs or sit there. They won't eat at all, but they want the water. They need the water. They got to have it to survive. And they absolutely hammer these water tanks we got. So water and food plots. And we'll show you all to my brother, Jake, me. Uh, let's see, Owen, my son, I'm trying to think it's early, <laughs> but uh, we're going to have MG with us. Uh, Brother Jesse couldn't make it, unfortunately, he's not feeling well, but we'll, I'm sure we'll see him as the fall progresses here. But yeah, it is August 3rd, I believe, today, Saturday. Oh, my days are all jumbled around, but stick with us. Remember, always like, share, subscribe, check us out on Instagram. We're always bringing new content. We've kind of slacked off a little bit, and it's it's my fault and Brother Jake's. I have been extremely busy with work. So has he, juggling work and family life and trying to film and make sure that everything's done and bring you guys good content. It's a lot of work. So stick with us. We're going to get everything loaded up, which is quite the process. We're going to go get some breakfast first, most important. Let's get some uh, get some, get some fuel, fuel in, the, in the motor here so we can get going, you know. So we'll catch you guys when we got everybody together and probably up at the timber and we'll see you then and we're going to get seed in the ground and then pray for rain. So stay tuned. Should be a good one today. Well, what do you got? It's from the animal. Where'd you find it? Over there. I think those are rib bones. We better talk to grandpa. 
So you bring them home? Should bring them home? No. He probably ate ribs and threw them out here for animals to eat. <laughs> here, let's, you want to go on the trampoline? What do you think of that? That's cool. Yeah. yeah that is good. Oh, yeah. So Justin raked up the plot with the quad. Now he's seeding. And then what comes next after this? Then we're gonna take leaf rakes, flip it up, flip your leaf rake over, and that just gets it worked into the soil. So you got seed to soil contact, which is key. And uh, like I said, this is a chicory, clover, and brassica mix, which I've had here in the years past. And brother Jacob testified, it works out really great back here really close to a bedding area and it just it grows well here this is not a really really sunny plot but uh they said why change it if it ain't broken i mean me and jake both have shot deer here and quality deer too so but i'm just going to keep seeding and then we'll uh we'll rake it into the soil and then after that we're going to roll it i'm going to leave my lime and my fertilizer on the top of the soil because if you put your your lime and your fertilizer down in with your seed it makes no point get your seed all in there flatten it out then run that on the top so the first rain it has that stuff breaks down and goes right to your seed and it's not past your seed and past your root base otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose it's just one little trick i use and it definitely works i mean in a couple weeks we get rain you will see that this plot will flourish big time so it's just different steps it's the way i like to do it it's not that hard. I know the leaf rake of it, guys. Wow, oh, that's stupid. But if I take that big drag and I move it all, all it does is pull my seed. I don't want to move the seed anymore. So, give it on me. Oh, yeah, got my nephew back here. So. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to get this all seeded. And then uh, I'll show you that step. It's just, hey, <laughs> hey, get that rake off there. Blake, get the, I already told you. Pick the rake up. You're pulling my seed all off there. <laughs> Look at it. You're gonna have a Blake. Look at it. Now there's no seed there. Blake. God, I'm a big bold spot. Dude. <laughs> Man. Uh, there, don't touch it. No.
All right, so fertilizer's down, seed's down. Now we're gonna put lime down. I use pelletized lime. It takes a long to break down, just works out good. And after I lime it, then we're gonna roll it, and this plot is ready to go. Pray for rain, bring on deer season. <clears throat> Can't wait. All right, so the seed fertilizer lime is in the soil. Now we're cultipacking. We're just pulling a roller right behind the four-wheeler. And the reason we do this is to really get that seed soil contact. It really seems to work out well for everything we've done in the past. See, he's just going around the perimeter really slow, taking his time. Nothing special. The roller's just got water in it. So once he's uh, done rolling this, this food plot is done, and then we're on to the next two. We've got two more food plots on this property. Got some different seed options for those, but uh, we'll show you guys that when we get up there. It's pretty neat, you can see the line in the soil where he's rolling that. It really packs it down. So coming around, another time, round and around. Let's pack it down real good. Again, this will just give that, get that seed to soil contact. It's very important for the seed to actually take root. Good germination. That's all there is to it. Didn't really need any big expensive equipment, obviously besides a four wheeler, but just a roller. You could use that on your yard. Standard rake, a uh, Scott's Broadcaster, and a couple garden rakes, yard rakes, whatever you call them. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll uh, get some more video on the next plot. Thanks. folks so here we are on this second food plot um, I killed it once this year and unfortunately I haven't been up here in a couple weeks and the grass completely grew back so um, not ideal ideal situations I would kill it again come back up in two weeks but we just don't have the time this year so it is what it is we're just gonna rip this up and then replant it so we've got the tines all the way down right now on the rake um, I was ripping around um, with my truck before this. I had the rake attached to it, so tore it up pretty good. I couldn't get that middle section just because the truck can't turn that sharp. Plus, there's a big pothole in the middle. But uh, yeah, we're just going to rip it up. It is what it is, and you know, even if we get a, per a small percentage of the seed to take, um, you know, it's going to be good enough. This isn't my primary food plot. This is more or less just a secondary. I've got my neighbor who comes up and hunts, so you know, it'll, it'll be good enough. The deer just love this spot. I do have a little water tank right over here in the corner. Deer are always drinking out of that, and then uh, I've got this long trail right here where I do rifle hunt down at the end. We were actually just standing here talking, and the deer cruised across the road at about 250, um, 250 yards. So you know, the deer are here. I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna put the seed in the ground. We'll cult the packet, and some of that seed we'll take. So you know, as bad as it looks, it's not ideal, but it it will work out. So Owen's going in. Um, Clock, uh, clockwise right now and then I'm gonna go counterclockwise once I hop on the quad here and rip it up so I'll get some of that grass uprooted and uh, it'll work out right what do you think Justin yeah and the biggest thing is usually we do come up and spray two times before we like we like to completely kill everything this year me and Jake have just been extremely busy if you've seen our videos we've been trying our best we'll be posting a lot more folks it'll be coming just, we're, we're both working men, we're, we're, we're fathers, but but this plot, I know Jake's a little concerned about the grass, I am too, but this is a spot where we bring in Jake's uh, neighbor, Sam. It's very accessible. Uh, I have a buddy in a tractor. I'd like to get up in this spot. We usually put a ground blind back here. 
and it'll grow and I'm telling you right now believe me folks uh, this fall there will be footage of somebody killing deer on this plot it's a good spot Jake shot deer here we've had other people shoot deer here I'm not worried we're gonna plant it it'll grow like I said it's very accessible spot to get to especially for uh, Jake's neighbor Sam was a very he's an elderly man I sat here with him last year they run another deer did they really <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking. I corner of my eyes, see another one just shoot across. It's all bedding back here. But Owen's just going to keep ripping around. And biggest thing, uh, feel free if you got any questions. We're in central Wisconsin. It's all sand. Uh, if you have any questions on what or why, if you're having problems with food plots, make sure you comment down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if there's any tips or anything, we can help you with your plots. I mean, as you can see, you don't even need all this major equipment to do this stuff. You don't need tractors like we've had in the past. We do this and what we're doing works for us it's you know to keep the food there to keep the deer there and they're small plots we call them kill plots but um like i said they've been working really good we're gonna rip this one up remember like share subscribe please we will definitely be getting more films to you soon we've just been very busy but i mean the reality is this food plot's small enough you could do it with the rototiller oh I, oh absolutely none of our plot all of our plots are like a third of an acre they're not big fields by any means. Yeah, you could so. till this up with a rototiller. I mean, Easy. people have gardens bigger than you, this. You can go rent equipment for a day and do this with, I mean, no time. So, And we are in complete woods. It's all woods everywhere we go. So, yeah, stay tuned. I mean, it's going to be the same process. We're going to hit this plot. Then we'll go hit what we call the strip plot, which we started two years ago. And uh, we did not plant last year, but I'm excited. This spot's going to be just as good as the other ones. So believe me deer will die on this plot this year so stay tuned folks we're gonna keep rolling all right guys so i am ready to plant the seed uh this is joe's buck buster from jasters um egg supply this is a mix it's got daikon radish turnips winfred wind fed brassica and kale so this is a mixture that they pre-mix for me um i've got four pounds this is about a quarter to a half acre plot so um, I think this should be good. I don't want to overcrowd it. Um, I've heard of issues with that before. So, yep, we're going to put the seed on top, and then we're going to lime it, fertilize it, and then we're just going to rake it all in together, roll it, and then this one's done. Should be good there all right, ready to seed all right oh. what you mean? all right let's <laughs> just slap the ground too jake all right joe's buck buster here we go Boy, I'll tell you what, folks. We did so many years to get the kids involved because me and uh, old brother Jake were not getting any younger. Look at this. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you want to hunt? You get the help. But he's doing a great job. This is awesome. All right, so we got the seed in the ground, fertilizer, lime. Jake raked his in. I use a little method for mine, but they still, either one of them works. So now he's gonna roll this plot over. Then we're gonna go to the, what we call the strip plot. And that'll be the last one. And then pray for rain. Yeah, he's just gonna drive the air out of that and get her down in the soil. Then we'll see you at the strip plot to finish this out. 2024 food plots bring on deer season. Hey guys. Oh, sorry. You're all right. What's up? I want to make sure I put the right stuff in his. He wants fertilizer. He's out. Owen's fertilizer. Is that, that green bag? Nope. I didn't look at it. Green is lime. Oh, it's the white one's. Perfect. Look at folks. We got the oldest one here too. Look at this. We got generations of Peterson boys. 
Jesse showed up, he's helping with the last pot. So sweet, but Brother Jake's gonna have to fill you in a little bit. We uh, we got this all drug out, they're gonna fertilize the line, but Jake's gonna explain to you the seed for the strip plot here. All right guys, so this strip plot, uh, I'm doing something different this year. I'm actually gonna do three little plots. Um, so I'm just gonna break it up into thirds. I've got um, four different types of seed here. Um, that's buck forage oats and then Austrian winter peas. Those can go together. I've done that here in the past and it's done really well. This is a shaded, you know, so like part sun food plot. Um, that works really great. The deer love it. Um, this is a, I think it's called like a Balanza Viper Clover. Uh, supposedly this works really well in like a shady area. So I'm just gonna try this on its own in its own little section. Never done it before, but we'll see how that works out. And then this is a mix. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you, but it's a broadleaf mix. Um, so I'm gonna do that on another third. And um, I don't know, it's kind of just like a little experiment. We'll see which one works the best, which one grows the best. Um, and then also which, you know, which one the deer like or prefer over the other. And also which one they're eating at, at a certain time of the year, right? So I kind of want to just do like my own little deer study and um, see how it turns out. So uh, if it does turn out, we'll try and update you guys later in the year. But that's our plan. Doing good, buddy. Thank you. Box, right? Big box. Generations. Love it. It's all about the camaraderie and family. If you ain't having fun doing this, then you shouldn't be doing it. And I've said it many times. Alright, so the first third, this is the broadleaf mix. I don't actually remember what's all in here. I'd have to look it up on my phone. But I'm gonna spread that over here first. We'll leave it in, we'll leave it in the description. So like Jake did, he just kind of drew a line in the in the dirt and we're gonna cut her into thirds and experiment a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can go all the way down there if you want. Yeah, Look at this guy, we got Joss. What's up? He's earning his keep to schwack a big one. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna dump it all out. <laughs> we just yeah, went down and you cranked it up farther. Time. He was gonna be out of this. Have Jossie dig it out of there. I'm filming. So. We got food plots going on, we got chainsaw going on. Time to get stuff done. Then we get in here, we shuffle a few stands around, we get quiet. And wait for deer season. Seed is in the ground. Nice. What do you got in there? Alright, so now we've got buck forage oats. Which is which has grew really good in here in the past. Yeah, so. it really has. So we're gonna do this. Uh, and then after I spread this, we're gonna spread Austrian winter peas, which the deer absolutely demolish every single year. They usually don't even grow much because they, they mow them right off. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Now she's spitting. So there again, Jake cut that there, and then we're gonna do clover down on that far end. All right, last but not least, the Balanza Viper Clover. This is an experiment, a new seed for me. Never used it. It's a very highly shaded area. Supposedly this works good for that. You know, I don't know how palatable it is uh, and if it'll even grow, but I'm sure it will. Clover pretty much grows anywhere. So, all right, here we go. Balanza Viper. Actually, oh, it spreads really nice, but very quickly. Oh, that was about perfect. Well, everyone, thanks always. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram. We'll have shorts up. We're going to have all pictures. Uh, we really appreciate everybody that watches our channel. Peter Snow, Thor, we've been trying to grow this for five, six years now. Yeah. And we're just local guys from the Midwest, from Wisconsin here. So remember, God first, family, friends, and fun. If you even having fun, don't be doing this. And uh, if you got any questions on anything we did today, like, like I said, feel free to comment. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks to all the brothers for the help. Owen, man, lots of help. We got the uh, Blake Tank. He's in the truck. He's done. So. <laughs>
What the? Cash dog. Yeah, he's done. So, plots are in the ground, praying for some rain, and can't wait till fall and smack some bucks, huh, boys? Yes, sir. 30, Perfect plan. 30 pointers only this year, so. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. There'll always be something coming soon. Thanks for watching.